We are going to be reviewing domain and range. So go ahead and add this to your vocabulary on your unit divider for the EOC review. And let's go ahead and look at our warm up domain and range. So it says a florist is making bouquets of flowers for a wedding. Each bouquet will have nine flowers. The graph shows the linear relationship between Y, the number of flowers used, and X, the number of bouquets. So we have number of bouquets, number of flowers. The florist will use no more than eight bouquets for, each, for the wedding. Which set represents the domain of the function? So I want you all to circle the word domain and write the variable that we use for domain, and that is X. So we only care about the x values. We have a graph that we can look at. So I'm going to circle x on the graph also. So we have x values. So I need to look at every single point and figure out what the x value is. I don't even care about these values y because it doesn't ask for that. It only asks for the x. So this coordinate, the x value is 0. This coordinate, I'm going to find it, the x value is 1. This next coordinate, the x value is 2. The next coordinate, the corresponding x value is 3. This coordinate is 4. You'll get the idea. So it's all of the values between 0 and looks like 8. So we look at our answer choices. The x values for domain are 0, 1 through 8. Or 0 through 8. Number 2, what are the domains? So I'm going to go ahead and put domain as x. Range is y of the function. I'm going to look at my answer choices real quick. A says domain is all real numbers. Range, g of x. Shouldn't range say y? But remember this is g of x, which is the same thing as saying y. So range is also g of x. So for range, put y or g of x. Then we can narrow down our choices this way. So domain, well, I'm going to look at all my answer choices and make sure domain says x or no variable at all. A says all real numbers. B says x. C says all real numbers. D says g of x. That is not right because this... This should not say g of x. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out d as an answer choice. If I just know that domain is x, I can narrow down my choices that way. Then range is either y or g of x. So I'm going to go down my answer choices and only look at range. g of x, g of x, uh-oh, c says x. It should not say x. It should say y for range. So C is not an option. Just by knowing domain is X, range is Y. Now I only have to choose. Now I have a 50-50 shot instead of 25% chance of getting it correct. So that's without even graphing it. Now I'm going to go and graph it because i got to find my answer. So let's go to Desmos. Go ahead and put that in. Put in your equation to Desmos. You should only see this function right here. And then just double check that you put everything in correctly. So it's one-fourth 
negative 1 fourth x minus 17 squared plus the 61. I can't see anything, so I'm going to zoom out so I can see more of it. So get to a place where you can see the whole thing by zooming out. Okay, so domain is left and right. I'm going to draw what this graph looks like on my paper. So that's what I'm going to draw. Looks the same, right? Ish. Somewhat. So remember, domain is left to right. So I'm going to write L and R for left and right for the X. Does it stop on the left side? It keeps going, so that's going to go to negative infinity. On the right side, does it stop? No, it keeps going. Negative infinity to positive infinity. So left to right is negative infinity to positive infinity because of those arrows going left and right. So that means that it's all real numbers. So domain is all real numbers. The R with the extra line. Look at our answer choices. Which one is not right? This one is not right. Because that should be all real numbers. I'm going to mark it out. And I just want to make sure that A truly is correct. It says G of X is less than or equal to 61. So is it at 61 and lower? Is that a height of 61? Yeah, I would just need to click. What is this called on a quadratic? Vertex. Yeah, it's the maximum. How high does it go? 61. See how that's 50? So the Y value is 61. So that means A is correct. Okay, so let's do a little review of domain and range now. So fold your notes in half. We're going to add just a few things to this and do some examples. So reminder, domain is X, range is Y. Go ahead and add these things to your notes. So whenever I have a graph, I like to, I, I guess it would call, it'd be called annotate, which means write on it. So for domain, I'll write left and see how far left it goes, right, see how far right it goes. Then range, you can use y or f of x, and you look at how far down and how far up. You don't have to memorize this because all you have to do is think about or look at the x-axis. x-axis goes left and right. And then the y-axis goes up and down or low to high. And then the notation. If domain is continuous, that means it's a line that continues on. And it has the two arrows going both directions, left and right, or down and up. Then it's all real numbers. Then we have closed circle represents or equal to. So you'll have the or equal to. If it has open circles, it'll just be less than or greater than. 
Remember, less than makes an L. This means less than. The other way, if you can't make an L with your left hand, then it means greater than. If we're going to find domain and range of all of these six graphs. So I'm going to use different colors to help me. So I'll start with domain on all of them. So for domain, we're going to go left and right. So I'm going to put an L and an R here. How far left does it go? Infinity. Yeah, negative infinity. And then how far right does it go? Um, yep. Yeah, you're right, to six. So it goes from negative infinity to six. So we're going to say X. And the number. So it starts at 6 and gets smaller. So it's going to be less than or equal to 6. Okay, let's go to the next one. Just do domain. So, ante left and right. We're going to see how far left it goes. How far left? Negative 4. And then right, if it has an arrow going right to infinity. Infinity. So remember domain is x. So x and negative 4. So it's at negative 4 or greater. So greater than or equal to negative 4. Next one, left to right, <clears throat> left, does it stop anywhere? It has arrows going left and right, so that means X is all real numbers. Okay, let's do range of these top three. Range is how far down to how far up. So label down. How far down does it go? I'm going to look at that furthest point down. Looks like it's at a negative two. So I kind of draw a line to the spot that it needs to be at. A line to the y-axis. Down to up. So how far up does it go? Infinity. So y is at negative 2 or higher. So that means greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, the next one. How far down does it go? Is there a stopping point? Arrow means no stopping point. It goes on and on, so it's going to negative infinity. So negative infinity is how far down it goes. How far up? Six. So I'll put U6 for up to six. So Y is at six or smaller, so that means it's less than or equal to. All of these are closed dots, so that's why it has an or equal to. Next one. How far down? Does it have a stopping point? Nope. It's 
So it goes on and on. So it's infinity. How far up? Goes up to 3. So y and 3 are the things that I'll write. And then I think about is that 3 or lower or 3 or higher? Is that 3? And it goes down. So it'll be less than or equal to 3. It has it doesn't have any dots. So that means it's or equal to. If it had open dot, that's when we do the not or equal to. Okay, I want you to do these three right now on your own. Domain and range. So left to right. Left is negative 4. Right is 1. So a compound inequality is how we're going to have to write this. Negative 4, x, and 1. So I go from least to greatest. So that's why I use the less than symbols with x between them. This is closed circle, so that's the or equal to. Range is low to high. How low does it go? Yep, so down to negative 7. How far up does it go? 2. So we put the two numbers from least to greatest with the variable between them. Use less than symbols. If it has an open circle, like on the two, then we leave it like that. The other one is the or equal to. Domain. Left. How far left does it go? It's a negative 2. But how far right does it go? Does it stop? It doesn't stop. I circle the arrow and put infinity. So that means it's at negative 2 or higher. Because that's what infinity means. It goes higher and higher. So that means it's x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Range is y. How far down does it go? What number would you think that would be at? What can we estimate? Yeah, four and a half. So it goes down to four and a half and goes up. Arrow means infinity. So y is at four and a half or higher. So greater than or equal to four and a half. And the next one, how far left does it go for domain? Does it go to the negative side? So it starts at zero. And how far right does it go? Infinity? Yep. So it's at zero or larger. So x is greater than or equal to zero. Then range, how far down does it go? What would you estimate that to be? Between 200,000 and 300,000. 250,000. And how far up is it going to go? Infinity. So it's going to be at 250,000 or up. So greater than. So y is greater than or equal to 250,000. You're going to finish the problems inside these notes, and then you're going to do the exit ticket.